Hey guys, it's Vlad, welcome back to the channel. I make tech videos just like this one, so if you're into content like this, please consider subscribing. What I got here today is a power supply from Seasonic. It's the 850 watts model GX850. Let's check out what's in the box. So various papers, one very nice one, a $50 Steam gift card, and of course the user's manual. And here are the goodies, zip ties and velcro straps, which are always nice to have as they make cable management much easier. The star of the show, the PSU itself. Pretty heavy, I must say, which in PSU world means quality. 80 plus gold rated certification and comes with a hybrid button on the back, which is used to turn off the fan completely, making it practically fanless. We have, of course, our mains power cable and whole bunch of cables for the PSU itself. Cables are not braided, but they are flat, which I kind of prefer more as these are easier to work with in the case. The power delivery is rated at 20 amps on 3.3 and 5 volt rails and 70 amps on plus 12 volt rail, which in practice means it can handle power hungry hardware. And it uses single rail plus 12 volt power distribution, so no complaints here. As I mentioned before, the hybrid button on the back, if pressed, it will engage the hybrid mode, meaning the fan inside will turn on only if the PSU exceeds certain temperature threshold or if it exceeds more than 70% of the load. I have it turned on as this makes the whole PC so quiet, no noise coming from the PSU even at full load and it's pretty cool while doing its job. Integrated fan is 120mm and it is fluid dynamic bearing type. This is fully modular power supply, meaning you can remove cables you don't use at all so they won't make a mess in the case. This also leaves possibility of getting custom sleeved cables, so plus points here. Mounting in the case and complete cable management is such a breeze, as I mentioned it comes with flat cables, so for me at least this is much convenient than having it sleeved and round. So connecting all your needed cables is easy and trust me you can't go wrong here as each cable is correctly labeled and has its corresponding connector on the PSU itself. Most of the cases have bottom placed PSUs now, so insert PSU from the back side, at least in this case, and some will require inserting from the side and remember fan facing down, as it needs to intake fresh air from the outside. Connect all the cables to your motherboard, GPU and all the devices needed, and make sure to route them nicely, nothing beats the feeling of having all the cables neatly packed inside your case. It's worth mentioning that there are no inline capacitors installed in any of the cables. They are mostly installed to correct ripples in GPU cables or on 24 pin cable, but nothing here, meaning this PSU has its power delivery in check. Johnny Guru, a well respected PSU reviewing website, gave it 9.5 out of 10, and it is especially because of its power delivery system. So the price, because of the complete situation in the world, varies. It's around 150 to 160 US dollars and comes with a 10 year warranty. So the pros of this PSU would be the typical Seasonic build quality, high grade Nippon Chemicon capacitors used throughout, it has good load regulation, it has ripple suppression, it has 80 plus gold certification, it's fully modular and it's completely quiet. So if you are wondering does it have any cons, it has none and this is to be expected from a company such as Seasonic. Once again big thanks to Seasonic for sponsoring this complete build with this PSU, I am RTX 30 or RX 6000 series ready now. See you guys in the next one and don't forget to like, sub and share.